beautiful woman with a superb figure came to a scenic beach. Taking off her shirt, she changed into a surfing suit and dove headfirst into the blue sea and blue sky. The waves are like small mountains. The girl played very happy. But not far away to use warm that it was getting dark, the girl said she would play one last time. However, there was something quietly peeping underwater. Luckily, it's just a couple of happy dolphins, but the sister swims after them towards the deep sea. The water suddenly becomes fishy, and it turns out to be a dead whale in front of her, with a big open in her body by an unknown creature. Sensing something was wrong, the girl started to swim back just as a big wave hit, and she used the momentum to try to dash for the shore. But if you look closely, there is also a dark figure hiding in the body of water, a shark of great size. As a result, the girl fell and rolled into the bottom of the sea, and when she surfaced, she was suddenly dragged into the sea again. Blood staining the sea, she struggled desperately and was lucky to escape the shark's bloody mouth. But the shore was too far away, and she instinctively swam towards the whale carcass. The muscles in her thighs were chewed up, and she used a surf rope to tie it tight to stop the bleeding. The girl saw to surfing, youth still on the shore and called desperately, but neither of them heard her and drove off. The whole beach was suddenly empty. The girl is desperate. How on earth is she going to get out of this? Just then, the shark swam away of its own accord. This shark is extremely smart and knows how to catch the girl. While the girl was relaxing, it suddenly came back. The girl in the water swam to the nearest reef and landed safely, but further away from the shore. Standing alone on a reef half the size of a toilet, with only a lone sea buoy nearby, Lan was a long death-defying distance away from her. Luckily, the girl was a current medical student, and she began treating her wounds to save herself, taking off her earrings and stitching up her shark bitten muscles. If there are 1,000 ways for a med student to practice, the one she's doing right now must hurt the most. <laughs> Soon she was making homemade leg bandages out of her surfing clothes. But bigger challenges followed. As the temperature plummeted at night, she was so frowsy that she had to put her surfing suit back on to keep it warm. The tourniquet also had to be loosened from time to time to get the blood flowing in the injured leg to prevent muscle necrosis. And in order to replenish energy, also have to endure nausea raw crab. But just in desperation, the girl catches sight of something floating in the sea. The big beauty is trapped on the reef by a shark. How can she escape? The beautiful surfboard in front of her eyes gives her hope. The girl endures the severe pain in her legs and slowly moves towards the surfboard. But a shark fin suddenly appeared in front of her eyes and she had to swim back to the reef in a hurry. And to her disappointment, the beauty saw that the beach was actually occupied. It was a sleeping drunk, she shouted. Turns out this, he thought it was a beautiful woman saying hello. The two of them gesticulate to each other. The drunk finally found her backpack left on the beach under the guidance of the girl. There is a cell phone inside. You can call the police. This is saved. However, the drunkard just tucks the cell phone away and takes all the cash. She saw the girl's surfboard and went down to the sea to fish it out, only to have the drunkard bitten in two. <coughs> One night later, two of yesterday's boys drive up for another night out, and the girl makes a point of greeting them with a shark in the water. The long-haired little brother realizes something is wrong and swims back, only to become the shark's breakfast. The short-haired little brother desperately slides toward the sister, but also a wave and the man is gone. The broken into surfboard is thrown out of the water. The shark ambush is successful, and the girl's hopes are dashed. And the sea, which was freezing cold last night, is now not only hot and scorching, but there is no water to drink. Sister decides to do something meaningful with her last moments of life. She helps the baby. Seagull attaches dislocated wing, then prepares to fish out the short-haired guy's sports camera and record his last words. She takes aim at the shark, swimming to the other side of the reef, and has 30 seconds to herself. However, the first time the time ran out and she failed, then tried a second time and finally succeeded. But something didn't feel right. 